I've been traveling a lot and I thought it'd be fun to do a what's in my travel makeup bag. It features an awesome makeup bag that I got from my blogger meetup recently, which this bag is by Sarah Johnson. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. And I love this bag so much because there's one compartment where I can put makeup and one where I can put skincare versus me using my like old Victoria's Secret one where I just put everything in one little bag and I try to sort things out but it doesn't really work out very well. It never does. So this is what I've been using. I figured since I'm going to be traveling again next week that I could just pack everything into this little bag and just use it throughout the week and then next week when I go out of town I'll have everything set up and ready to go. So this is what the inside looks like and it's just teal. And so this section has my skincare and then this section has my makeup. And let's go ahead and get started. Also, have you noticed that the little zippers have these cute little babbles on the end? It's so cute. So I'm going to go through skincare first. And skincare is relatively important to me when I'm traveling just because if you're in a different like climate or attitude or whatever, for some reason it always messes with my skin and with my head. So I feel like having like decent skincare with you when you're traveling is a good thing. So I always bring with me my Boots Anti-Blemish Serum, which I've mentioned in lots of videos in the past. Right now, I've always mentioned this and I love this product so much. I've recommended it to all my friends. I actually don't get very much acne. But I like using this just from time to time because when I do get acne, it's always either on my chin or just a little bit on my forehead. And it's a great product to have because it's $8 and you can get it at Target. I think you can get it at, um, you maybe can get it at Ulta, but I'm not sure. Alright, the next product is the Etsy House Face Conditioning Cream. And this product is a bit of a gimmick. It's a face conditioning cream, but I use it as a base for makeup because it just even things out really well. It's a white base. It's not really that moisturizing, so the name of the product is kind of gimmicky, like I said, but it makes a really nice base for when I'm about to apply foundation or BB cream. And it has SPF 25, which I guess is alright. I'm sitting crisscross applesauce in my chair. Yeah. So next I have my Vain Pursuit Skincare Trio and I've been digging these for travel since they're like the perfect size and it's something new that I haven't tried before. Basically Vain Pursuits is a website you go on and you take a quiz. It'll ask you what like targeted areas are you wanting to you know target on your face obviously. It'll ask you what products that you love to use. I think I put like a long comb moisturizer in my serum that I mentioned earlier. Basically, I'll ask you a couple of different questions. The quiz took me about less than 10 minutes because it took me a while to contemplate on what to put <laughs> for the quiz. And then after that process, they will send you skincare samples of formulas they have created themselves that they think will be great for your skin. And if you can tell, I actually numbered these 1, 2, and 3 because I get really confused about which is which. Because on the sticker that they have on here, it has your name, it has the formula, and then it tells you what it is. I have two that says face milk, but with two different formulas. And honestly, I'm the type of person that just gets confused when it comes to labels like this. Like, they're both the same color, it's just the formula number is different between the two. But one's for day and one's for night. I mean, no, one's for day and one's for every day. Like, one has an SPF and one does not, and I just would get confused if I didn't label these with numbers. So I wish they would have labeled this with like, like in the order that you would probably put on your skincare, you know? So after they send you the samples, if you test the products out and you really like it, you can order the full size. My favorite product is probably the Nighttime Lotion. It's been my favorite since I started using it because I haven't really found like a nighttime moisturizer that I've really enjoyed. I like how they mail you the samples personally with your name and the formula because one time I went to Sephora and they gave me a sample of one of the skincare products and it smelled really funky, like it smelled old and I didn't know if someone else had touched it or what happened to it, but I feel like this is a bit safer because there's no like bacteria and you know where it's coming from, kinda. <laughs> it's coming from Canada. I haven't been to Canada in years. Wow, that was totally random, but totally true. I will link them down below if you guys are interested in them. I'm going to move on now and talk about my makeup that I have brought with me, or will, will be bringing slash did bring 
I'm talking a lot. I just I just go on. First things in here is my Lancome Dual Finish Matte Ecru Number Two Powder, which I always go back to when it comes to powders for some reason because I feel like this is the deal of the deals. If you go to like Sephora and buy this, you don't really get anything out of it. But if you well other than points, but if you go to like a department store like Macy's or Nordstrom or Dillard's. Um, when you buy Lancome products over a certain amount, like a certain price, you get samples. You know, the day I bought this, they were giving out makeup bags. I got French bread. I got a lipstick and like a bunch of other little tidbits that are really nice. The second product is another Lancome product, which is great for traveling. I really recommend it. This is a blush palette, and it basically comes with a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. I love using this bronzer on my eyes um, when I'm using a cream shadow, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. This blush looks really, really pink, but it's very subtle on the skin. And the highlighter I wish was a little bit bigger because the bronzer is bigger than the highlighter for some reason, but this highlight is really nice. I like using it just on my nose or on my, like this part of my brow. Very nice to have when you're traveling so you don't bring like three huge things with ya. With ya. <laughs> I don't know why I'm shaking this, it's always a habit, but this is the foundation that I like to bring with me when I'm traveling. It's the Chanel by Luma Aqua. And I'm in the shade 30 Beige. And the reason why I like bringing this when I'm traveling is because it's a really co nice compact size. It has SPF, which is always nice. And it gives like the perfect finish for when I'm on vacation. Like I don't really want to think about my, my skin too much. Next I have a mascara. This is my favorite mascara for the past month. And I would definitely purchase it again. This is the Revlon Bold Lacquer by Grow Luscious Mascara. I love this so much because if you guys are a fan of the L'Oreal Voluminous, I used to be a fan until it started flicking on me and getting into my contacts, which is always an issue. I used to be a fan of that mascara so much, and this one is very, very similar to it. It gives, actually, it's almost identical to it, except it lasts longer. Washing it off takes a little bit more of an effort, but I don't mind because it lasts all day, it doesn't fall into my contacts, and it doesn't smudge under my under eyes. Next I have brow products. Um, these are the two I've been using. Um, the one that I use to just outline like the shape and everything is this one. It's the Etude House Drawing Eyebrow. This is in the color gray brown, which I think is shade number two. I think this is shade number two, but I could be wrong. They always change up the numbers, but I know the color is gray brown. And then I fill in my brows using the Holy Kahlika Drawing I Wonder Drawing 24 Hour Auto Pencil. <sighs> And this one is in the shade number two, which is a little bit lighter than the Etude House, but I feel like filling it in with a lighter shade is better than, than filling it in with a darker shade, unless I'm really in the mood, which I just noticed that my brows are really like bold today. <laughs> like, whoa, the brows. Next, I have my shawl that I was going to talk about earlier. It's my 24 hour Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. I love using this just as a base and then I use my bronzer just on the outside and then I apply mascara. It's a really easy look to do so that I don't have to bring a bunch of palettes with me. Unless it's like a special event or something, I will bring like a legit palette. I'll probably bring like my Naked 2 palette, but I usually just bring my cream shadow and just this palette right here. Last makeup product I have in here is my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer, which is an okay concealer. Um, I, the reason why I purchased this was it's a lighter shade than my actual skin tone, which I wasn't really used to like doing. I used to get a, a concealer that just matched my skin tone, but apparently it's better to get a lighter one, ooh, a lighter concealer to conceal your under eyes and just to brighten your face, which just does do the job. It doesn't last as long as I would like, so sometimes I mix it with my uh, Maybelline Superstay 24 Corrector. And that will make the concealer stay on all day. But other than that, this one is an okay concealer. And I probably wouldn't purchase it again. Just because there's like a variety of concealers out there. I just like using this just to brighten up my skin. And that is everything inside my makeup bag. And I have a bunch of videos that I have filmed before. But I just never uploaded them. Just because I don't know. With me and pre-filming, either I'm in the mood to film. But then I don't feel like editing or uploading. Because it takes like such a long time. Those videos will be up soon. I know they're gonna be like a month old, like one's a back to school video and you're like, cat, back to school happened to like pretty much two months ago, but I'm gonna upload it anyway because I feel like it just sitting on my computer just doesn't make any sense. But so I am going to film a room tour soon if you guys are excited for that. And I'm also 
daily vlogging. Right now I'm vlogging just on my phone. I don't have like a little vlogging camera. I'm vlogging on my iPhone 6, so I hope the quality on that is doing well. I'm still vlogging currently, so the vlog for this, like for today, won't go up until like maybe the next day or something. I don't know. But um, it really depends on what I do in the day. If I'm working that day, I probably won't vlog at all. But if I'm like home, home most of the day and not doing too much other than filming, I will upload a vlog. But hopefully this video isn't blurry because the last time I filmed this it was blurry and I hated the living crap out of it. Don't know what's wrong with my camera. I think I just need a new lens because this lens isn't meant for filming. But enough blabbering. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!